Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. In the description of this video, you can find my compiled link. Through there, you can find ways to support the channel, my other social media, and more. I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching. How's it going, everybody? CJ here, back the video we're doing a first thoughts today this first thoughts is on og the exquisite blade really cool blink commander it's always blink it's got a nice etb of gaining life and scrying and its second ability is pretty cool whenever you cast your second spell each turn exile up to one target creature you control then return to the battlefield so you can each turn get a free blink in if you cast two spells seems good the categories we're going to be talking about today are some additional ways to flicker because you're going to want a lot of flicker effects in this deck. Uh, then we got cards that have good entrance of battlefield triggers, so cards that you want to be flickering. And then the one-off cards. So we're just going to hop right into this. Before I really get into the ingredient of this commander though, I am going to say you're going to want to have a lot of like cheap cantrips, especially instant speed ones. So that way you can make sure you can cast multiple spells during your opponent's turns and get extra flickers. But otherwise, we're going to start off with the Flicker and Blink cards. So some ways you can Flicker and Blink your creatures include sort of Hearth and Home. Love this card. It also ramps you. You have Brago. You can Flicker everything. Charming Prince. If you don't want to Flicker something, it's got a decent ETB. There's Conjurer's Closet, which is really nice, along with Teleportation Circle. And Thassa. All of those. Fantastic in this deck. The Navigator's fantastic. That can end up being a combo piece too. You have Eldrazi Displacer, Flicker Form's pretty sweet, Mist Meadow Witch, Mysterious Limousine, new card there, Soul Herder's pretty nice, you have Yorion, then you have ways to flicker or blink at instant speed, including Cloud Shift, Disorder in the Court, Eerie Interlude, Semester's End, Goat Sway, those can also protect your board state, Momentary Blink, which has Flashback, which is nice, and Restoration Angel. All of those great includes for this deck. You're going to want a lot of flickering because this is going to be a flicker based deck. Your commander's got a great ETB. You're going to want to capitalize on that. Next, we're going to talk about additional creatures with solid ETBs. Those include Spirited Companion, Circuit Mender, Solemn Simulacrum, Cloud Blazer, great card draw there, Archaeomancer, it can get you back your ghostly flickers or cards like that. Peregrine Drake and Palancron, you can go infinite with Deadeye Navigator, they seem pretty solid in the deck. Sun Titan's nice, you can steal everything with H and a Treachery. Venser, very powerful card here. Skyclave Apparition, good removal, you can save them with Meteor Golem and Ampin Mutineer. You have Blade Splicer, so you can make a big board of Golems, which is cool. Diluvian Primordial can steal some very powerful instances of sorceries from your opponent's graveyards. Glenelendra, not actually an ETB, but you can reset the persist counter, so that way you can counter more spells. Recruiter of the Guard can tutor out most of these creatures and on an ETB, so that's really nice. There's Rumor Gatherer, which seems cool. Very interesting card there. And Palace Jailer, just some more removal. And now we're on to the one-off cards. First off, some other cards that synergize with casting your second spell each turn include Clarion Spirit, and Ledger Shredder. Those can be very synergistic includes. Afara seems sweet in this deck. It can just net you some extra card draw. You're going to have a lot of targeting of your creatures with spells. So Orvar and Mavinda can put in a lot of work in this deck. If you have an artifact ramp, Unwinding Clock can be very powerful and give you the mana to be able to cast spells during each of your opponent's turns. So that way you can get more flickers off of Oji. Seems great there. And if you're going to be casting stuff during your opponent's turns, Leyline of Anticipation, Vidalcan Ori, Winding Canyons, and Emergence Zone all seem like great includes. Raynar seems like a pretty cool card for this deck because you have a lot of creatures that can be exiled and then returned, but that exile trigger will get you a bunch of tokens. You could go into like a cycling style deck with Astral Drift and Astral Slide, which seems fun. Escape Protocol as well. You have cards that can capitalize on your creatures re-entering the battlefield over and over, like Pinharmonicon just doubling up the triggers. Blessed Sanctuary can make you a bunch of tokens, and Welcoming Vampire can draw you a bunch of cards. Mystic Reflection seems pretty cool as well. You can kind of pick and choose what you want your creatures to enter as. So let's say you have a very powerful creature on the board, and you can flicker your Blade Splicer. You can have Blade Splicer and the token that it creates come in as a copy of that powerful creature on your board. That's sweet. 
Elegith seems pretty nice in this deck because uh, OG lets you scry two, so instead of gain two, scry two, you can gain two, draw two. That seems very powerful. Crested Sunmare seems great because you're going to be gaining life of, off of OG and that can net you a bunch of horses. And it's missing the dreams. You can use your egg targeted exile as removal for your opponent's creatures, which is pretty cool. And that's everything I have for OG the Exquisite Blade. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody.